Welcome back guys, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been working full time and I haven't really had any time to actually do any reviews, so I do have some time to get this done. And here we go. Today I have the Solus V7, or at least I have two Solus V7s, and there's a reason for that. So these are kind of the normal Bluetooth splash resistant, uh, water, water resistant, not waterproof um, speakers, Bluetooth speakers, and they look pretty normal. Um, basic in terms of what you get in a speaker. Power button here, pause, volume up, volume down, and two little buttons here that I'll talk about in a second, as well as in the back we have a uh, micro USB in for charging, an aux in for stereo plugins, as well as a micro USB slot, which is actually pretty cool. Because if you don't want to use your phone, you can just load up music onto a micro SD card and put it in, and you can take this pretty much anywhere and already have your music loaded up, which I think is really, really cool. And I haven't really seen that with that many speakers, so points to them for that. But the big thing about these speakers is that they have what's called TWS or True Wireless Stereo. So in music or sound in general, there's something called mono and something called stereo. Mono is when you have the same sound coming from both headphones. So if you have um, a movie playing or music playing, then you'll hear the exact same sound in either one. But if you have stereo sound, that means that different sounds can be played in each ear. And this is mostly talked about with headphones because speakers typically don't really do this um, unless they're specially made for that and they have surround sound. So these speakers actually allow you to have stereo sound where this speaker will be playing one part of a movie or song or whatever sound you want and the other speaker will be playing a different part of it and they both meld together to create a better experience when you're listening to music. So instead of just having one speaker kind of in front of you blasting at you, you can have two speakers at either side of the room and it gives you a wider experience. And I tried this and it's actually really cool. You put the speakers in different areas of the room and you can actually hear the differences between the amounts of sounds and the types of sounds that are coming from the speakers, which makes it a very unique experience. As standalone speakers, they're pretty normal. You have IPX6 water resistance. So for about three or four minutes, you can have it be splashed on with water and it's not gonna break it. Uh, but any submersion for longer than that time is definitely going to break it. So you can put it in the shower, you can actually drop it into a pool as long as you take it out within a reasonable amount of time. It is pretty rugged. It has a very hard plastic. The front is a nice metal, I uh, see the little logo there. And the back is shielded by a rubber um, shield there. It also has a nice little carrying thing here. So if you have like a carabiner, you can hook it onto that and then keep it on your backpack. You can even go hiking, which would actually be pretty cool if you have two of these, one on each side when you're going hiking and just kind of blasting out music. Although I don't recommend doing that because hiking is supposed to be a more kind of serene experience. So I will say it took me a pretty long time, at least like 15 to 20 minutes to actually figure out how to connect both of these at the same time. So with most, if not all Bluetooth technology, you can only connect to one audio source at the same time. So if you try to connect to one and then you try to connect to the other, it's just gonna switch between the two. So it'll only be playing this one and then you connect to this one and it'll only be playing this one. These have a special little technology cheat where they appear as one speaker in your Bluetooth um, if you turn them both on at the same time and then you select the singular Solus V7 and it will connect both of them. So that allows you to get that stereo sound. And I could demonstrate that now. So I will play some copyright free music and you can see how that works. I don't know how well this is gonna come out since I only have a single microphone and it's not that great, but we will see how it goes. Turn up a little bit, hang on. So, this speaker. So it is really interesting because it's it's weird having two speakers playing at the same time, but apart from each other. I'm so used to having a single speaker, or at least like in terms of non-wireless speakers, um, and it's it's very strange. I don't actually know if this is a, a good stereo song to test this out on. Okay, so let's let's try something else. So this is the left speaker. With normal speakers, normal Bluetooth speakers, this one will be playing as well, but it's not, it's only this speaker. So left speaker, changes to the right speaker. 
Again, if this was any other speaker, then this one would also be playing at the same time right now. So this is how you know it's truly stereo. Left. Still left. Can't hear it. Doesn't get louder. It does with that. Right. So there you see that it does actually do a true stereo sound system, which I think is pretty neat for 30 or $60 if you grab both of them. So that's just an example of the TWS technology, which is pretty great. So according to the um, little instruction booklet here, it says about 18 hours at 60% volume. So if you play it louder, it's going to not last as long as if you play it quieter, it will last longer. Uh, playing at full volume is about 3.5 hours, but I wouldn't really recommend playing these at full volume because you don't want to damage them. So now it comes to hard truth. Um, standalone by itself, it's an okay speaker. Uh, the sound quality is good, not great. The bass is a little bit lacking, but it is a very small Bluetooth speaker, so I don't really give it that much crap for it. Um, together, awesome. But you do need to buy two of these, about $60, which is not that bad for two Bluetooth wireless speakers with TWS, uh, which definitely makes up for the cost of having to buy two speakers, plus um, the ability to take this in the pool and pretty much anywhere that might get kind of dirty or wet and it will be able to survive pretty well. Um, but again, the sound quality of it with two of them going, awesome, great. But with one of them just single at a time, um, I would say this is a little bit lacking in that department, but I won't really say that's a reason not to buy it just because for $30, you're getting a pretty good Bluetooth speaker that is waterproof, all that stuff I mentioned before. And then for another 30, you can get a full stereo system. Um, and I think that's actually pretty neat. It also does have a microphone inside the speaker itself. So if you want to answer a call, um, you can do so. I wouldn't really recommend that. If you're going to answer a call, you might as well just pick up your phone. One thing I do want to complain about is it does have a plus and minus right there, um, but it changes the songs, not the volume. So if you want to have your phone away somewhere and you want to change the volume, you have to go to your phone and turn the volume up or down, which is a little of a bummer because it has a plus and minus, which you would think would be for volume, but it changes the song, goes back and forth. So um, I don't know if that's just like an oversight or if it's supposed to do that, but from every single other speaker I've ever used, plus and minus has meant volume, not skipping tracks. Um, it does have a pause and play button, but apart from that, that's not really um, something I really wanna be 